The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Alrighty, welcome to episode two, oh, and hopefully we can find out where we go and find the hotline. So let's go. Nothing in here. Dead end. What is it? Yep, it's a dead end in there. Alright, so I'm here. We need to be up there. There it is again, our welcome message. I need a key for these doors. You dead? You guys are alive. Why do they always shoot me? What did I ever do to you guys?
Yeah, you're dead now. Research. Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Do some research before I go that way. Why do you always shoot me? time. Again, our welcome message. Yes, it's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. So to know the red stuff kills you. Right. Dead letters. No idea what they do. Is there a brightness button on here? that off. Oh, 
There we go. again a welcome message capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts 
vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Okay. Let's get that one for me. Okay, fair enough. Figure that one out easy. Oh, whoa. We can get up there. We can do it. Nothing up there. Just want to check. I didn't get that, that's new. I'm dyslexic, so I'm not going to read that. I'm going to leave it up so people can read it if they want to. So, leave it there for a few seconds. And if you want to give it a read, sure. And this one too. Can't work out the blank bits yet, but maybe they'll make some sense later. I think he's the former director that shot himself in the head. Or he is. They don't say it. Pardon me. Oh, we've got another tape in. Let's give it. Let's get the first one listen. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note: remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. And this one? Just look at it. Oh, I've seen this earlier. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> We've seen that earlier on the telly, so we don't need to watch that. Some more documents for people to read if they're interested to.
Okay. Oh, we've got another telly. Wasn't creepy at all. That was creepy. That was just like super creepy. Let's go that way. I would have been in there. Cover every base. We're on the right track. We must be on the right track. Toilet. Object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Why is he 
these are useless. Oh, listen to that tape. To hear you when I'm here. It's like that channel's been changed. The boards in charge here, their pyramids in bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Oh, well, that's new. I've got to do something with that. Okay, so I'm being overrun by cats. This is what I have to put up with when I record. My adorable cats. Say hello, people. Look. Just clouds all over it. I don't get this. Oh. I'm doing all that for no reason.
We're on a road to the, we don't know where. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Okay. So let's... I'm gonna end this one here and I'll be right back and see you in the next...